And listen, if you guys tuned in this week expecting some 41 Ford Power Stroke action, don't worry because we're gonna be right back on that next week. We're getting the frame cleaned up and uh, you know, just an update here. It still leaks about two quarts a week while it's just sitting still. So did you find the right one, Grace? Maybe. Welcome back to Crossroad Garage and Salvage. A little bit different week this week. Caitlin's not here, but uh, I'm in the garage with my best good dog and my favorite daughter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Raya's not my favorite dog. Trig's my best good dog. Raya's my favorite dog. Come here, Raya. Raya, come on. Well, Girl. she might be your favorite dog, but who's your favorite sister? Um, Raya's my favorite dog. <laughs> This week we're gonna get Gracie's uh, TTR90 Yamaha dirt bike tuned up. Carb's been leaking fuel all over the place for us. Float stuck in the carburetor, so. You know, it just dumped fuel all over the hay on the floor, which is not that big a deal. It's just that the, the goat milk has tasted like it's a little bit higher octane since it started leaking. But we're gonna fix that today. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, the whole thing here is a dad teaching his daughter usually how to work on old trucks like this F-350 that we're throwing the 41 cab on behind me. But, uh, you know, this week Caitlin's out of town, so we're working with Gracie here in the garage to get her dirt bike tuned up so she can trade it for a four-wheeler. That's right, she's decided she's not a fan of the dirt bike. I'm a mechanic! And she wants a four-wheeler this summer when we go to West Virginia for a family reunion. So. That's the plan. We're gonna get it running great, sell it high, and buy a nice one for you, huh? Yep. All right, let's do it. All right, you gotta dig Gracie's dirt bike out of here. Here in the goat shed and the cat house. We got some kittens we're training to be barn cats, and we lock them up here at night so the raccoons and the owls don't mess with them. Because he looks like a Lorax. Mm -hmm. All right, well, <coughs> looks like it's going to be all carburetors and kittens on this episode. Yep. Oh, forgot to lift with my neck. I think I hurt my back. Uh, easy way to fix this would be to <coughs> tap on the carburetor, make sure the float's working, and it quits spilling fuel everywhere. That would be the smart and easy thing to do, but it's like your Uncle Tim used to tell me work harder, not smarter but that was probably because he didn't want me outperforming him while working half as hard as him, so. All right, Gracie's gotta get that plastic fairing off the front of the tank here before we can get to the carburetor. Is that it? All right, good. Now, I would tell you what I told Caitlin about keeping track of hardware, but she just tends to put all the hardware from one project in a single Ziploc bag, so why don't we just set this up on the workbench up there? Is that all we're getting off? This thing? Well, we gotta take that off and then we gotta disconnect. Well, is this that all of the vent. blue that we're taking? Yeah, yeah, because now we can see everything we got here. Let's go ahead and see if this is the right size for this one. Nope, I think it could go one bigger. Ah, nope, go to the bigger one. Thank you. Huh? Mom came in here and told me she loves me. She, I mean, she didn't say that. She said, I'm going to go get you some Diet Pepsi, but I knew that's what she meant. Oh, that's, that's too big. It's too big? It might be metric, but uh, we'll see if that's standard size. We'll get that out of there. Did I ever tell you about the first time I asked your mom out on a date? Nope. I walked up to her and I said, girl, are you an appendix? Because I don't understand why you're here or what you're doing, but this feeling in my stomach makes me want to take you out. <laughs> this one doesn't work. Is it, I can't is it get slipping it. in there? It is. Are we, are we rounding it out? Oh. Sometimes you just gotta go a little bit harder than you thought you needed to. Do it like that right there. Okay. Well, that escalated quickly. Yep. <laughs> Nah, just kidding. That's Gracie's parts bike. Hers is over here. What we're gonna do now is uh, check out to see if we got the right carburetor. Because I ordered this a month ago and I 
still haven't opened it yet. Comes with a new fuel filter. That looks right. This looks like a throttle cable. Why is it coming with a throttle Wait, cable? No, that's an air filter. Okay. There's the carburetor. Oh, this thing comes with a brand new throttle cable. Didn't know that. That's cool. Can we put these on? Yeah. Might be able to get some new handles on there. <laughs> okay, well, we don't need that right now. We don't need a new throttle cable, really. Ooh, uh, this is a Makuni carburetor. So bought this off of uh, eBay. Wasn't really sure what I was getting. Just said replacement. Should be in good shape with this, Grace. We just gotta figure out where everything goes. Oh, that looks very different. Does it look different? Well, no, it just looks, that one looks way older and decoupled. Different color. So what do we notice is the same? That thing and that thing and that thing and that thing. And that thing. Everything. Like an indent, especially for that. Is it? Yeah, it has this little indent. Perfect. Hmm. Smells like my toothpaste. <laughs> so I've never had one of these apart, Gracie. But I think what we need to do is on the new one, we need to take this top plate off that holds the throttle cable in, mm -hmm. and see what is underneath there so we know how this is gonna come apart with the cable attached, okay? Can we do that? Sure. All right. So it looks like this end of the throttle cable is threaded here, Grace, mm -hmm. and it's gonna go, it's gonna thread onto the end of this, which means this is gonna extend down in here and hold on to something. But we're gonna go ahead and take this top part off here, so run the rest of that screw out. It is hotter than a cinder block outhouse with a tin roof in here today. Okay, got it. And let's put the carburetor hardware over here on this clean spot. Ooh, did you see that? Yeah. That is spring loaded. See, so what I, does this spring do while it's in there? Well, that's what I'm not sure about, but good lesson to learn. Don't just take a carburetor apart without holding things. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. I have no idea what that's attached to. Hmm. Well. Now what? Don't know, but I think this job just got a little bit more difficult. Hmm. Nope, no instructions in the box. So the spring is gotta be the return for the throttle. This piece right here is coming up and down inside of there. So that spring is pushing that plate down. So when you run the throttle and you let go, like a blade on a throttle body, yeah, it snaps back. So I think if we take this all the way out, now I can see the end of that cable is gonna go. See that, goes up and down there. I think I got it, but just in case, tell me the whole thing again, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Okay, so the end of the cable here, Gracie, yep. has this little bulb on it. Yeah. This cable's gonna go right in here like that. And then it's gotta go back in the carburetor. Where, where does the spring go? Doesn't the spring go in between? Ooh, good point, Grace. Very good point. And actually, this has gotta go on first. Okay, well. Now we understand how that goes. Let's go ahead and get the other one disconnected. Let's put the spring back here without damaging it and figure out if we're gonna put in a brand new cable or if we're just gonna use the old cable that's in there. 
So there's definitely a spring in here, right? Yes, there is a spring in there. Okay, I'm holding it. Is it coming out? I think, I don't see a spring. Oh, there it is. Well, this might be why they send you a whole new cable. It might be easier just to put a new cable in there, Gracie. Where does the cable begin? Right here, look. Cable goes up through here, it comes right here. Oh, it's this? It goes right to this thing. So why don't, you grab, why don't you grab that Allen wrench, take these two bolts off, we'll slide that off and out of there. That one was too big. We're taking off this, right? Yep, this. yep. Nope, this way. Okay, first thing we're going to do is verify that these are basically the same length. This one, this new one is considerably longer. So we probably do need to just work to get this apart and reuse the cable that we know fits. All right, and this is gonna end up going in there. Right now? Yeah, why not? It's hot out here, isn't it? Oh no. That thread doesn't seem to be the same thread. No. A longer cable shouldn't affect, I mean, it should be okay, theoretically, right? It just has, it's pulling the same distance, it's just traveling longer to do it. All right, we're gonna shut this off, get this all hooked up, uh, and be back. And we're gonna do that because I gotta turn a fan on. It is smoldering in here. Isn't it crazy? All right, Grace, the next thing we gotta do is figure out this choke cable. It should go down in here. Um, so let's grab a wrench. It's probably gonna be 11 or 12, maybe a 10 millimeter. That's the rule. Oh, <laughs> okay, it was spring loaded. I wonder what these two little square nuts that are in this package go to. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know what they go to. They go right in here and they hold the carburetor. Let's not let's not lose those. We're gonna need those later. So it should be okay. So that's just gonna take the cable. Cable goes through the hole, holds it tight, it's loaded in here. So let's go take the choke cable off of the other carburetor. So let's just finish taking our fuel lines off of here and remember where these go, okay? What's this thing? That's an O-ring for this intake right here. Is it O-ring? O-ring, like, yeah, like L-M-N-O-P. Aren't all rings O-rings? <laughs> yes, that is a good point. All rings are, in fact, O's. Oh, like there's an M-ring. Look, there's double stickers. Double summit stickers. That's twice the horsepower you're peeling off there. Um, Gracie, we've got the carb on. We've got the fuel connected. But I don't think we have any fuel in the tank because when we disconnected that, we didn't get any out. So I'm gonna turn this on. Yeah, see, there's nothing around there. So we got to put some fuel in the tank, and then we're going to have to adjust the carburetor a little bit, get the, get the jets uh, set the way, at least try and get it set like the old one was. We got that? Yeah. <laughs> you need me to put fuel, fuel in there? Nah. 
I think you probably do. Actually, yes, I do. Good effort, though. Oh, it's coming. It's coming through. Is it leaking anywhere, or is it just filling the hose up? Uh, oh, is that wet? No. no but it did fill it. that line up, huh? Yep. Yep. Oh, I can see the bubbles all over there. Cool. So it's a gravity flow. No, we need to put the filter. No, we don't put the air filter on yet because we're going to have to tune this a little bit. Mm. We've got to make sure this cable being longer, we got to make sure it's adjusted properly. This is not like wide open all the time and it kind of feels like it is right now, actually. These two jets are, are dialed out quite a bit from where those two jets on the back of that one are. Those are basically sunk all the way in as deep as they can go, so. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, Grace, is we're gonna take the old carb and we're gonna run these set screws for the throttle and idle adjustment. We're gonna run them all the way in and count how many turns it's in. And then on that one, we're gonna go ahead and back them out the same number, okay? So this one's horizontal and it's gonna go Half turn. Okay, that's like three quarters of a turn out. This one is gonna go full turn, half turn, full turn, two and a half, three, three and a half. But how do you know where it's supposed to go? Four. So that one was out four turns and this one was out of three quarters of a turn. That's where we're gonna start, okay? Okay. Okay, so this one we're gonna back out three quarters of a turn. So that's a half turn, three quarters of a turn. This one we're gonna come out, that's one, two, three, and four. We'll start there. I don't know if we ever checked oil. We'll just go ahead and check the oil. And then we're gonna start kicking. This is a kick start. I got nothing on my pinky. I wonder how full that's supposed to be. It would seem like it would need to be fuller than that. So it looks like there's supposed to be a stem on the end of this for so a dipstick, mm -hmm. which means it's either broke off previously or it's down inside of here somewhere. So, oh, got my pinky stuck. Oh my. I don't even see any oil in there. Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna need to put a little oil in there, but I wanna get a magnet down in there first to see if I can grab oh, where's anything. where's that magnet thing? Grab that green one that's hanging on the... Where? It's hanging next to the white drawers. Um, Dad, where is it? They're you? over on the white shelves over here, Grace. That's where the magnet's at, somewhere over there. Over <laughs> on the white shelves. Hi. You got my Diet Pepsis for me because I, you love me? Yes, I did. I told you. <laughs> Don't look at this part. All right, Grace. Who that fan feels good. No, not over there, over here. Right there, these white shelves, not the white cabinets. Wait, so you were wrong? What do you mean I was wrong? You said white cabinets. No, I said white shelves. No, you didn't. Hold on, hold on. Don't just go sticking that in there. <laughs> Why not? Look at all the junk that's all over the end of it. And? And we don't want that in our crankcase, so let's get it it's wiped Marty's off. Fart. What do you see? Um, I see nothing. I see the back of your head. See, it has no oil on it. Yeah. I would say we have a absence of oil situation here. Bad news. Uh, when we were transporting it here, it tipped over in the back of the truck and it did leak some oil out. So I got to see what oil that needs and see if we've got it. So let's do that. So we don't have any Yama Lube, but we do have some Kawasaki 15 W50, which I think this is supposed to take 20 W50, but um, you know, it's summer and uh, here you can pour this in. But just nice and slow, nice and slow. It's going to take uh, about uh, eight tenths of a quart, I think, is what I read. How much is that? There's not even a quart in here, so. Is there just pouring the thing? 
it says right here 800 cm cubed is the volume. I think this said 800 right here, so pour that whole thing in there. Good enough. Good enough. Now is that oil a pinky? Now you're dripping all over the floor. Oh, put, oh. That, put that O-ring back. Where'd that come from? You want to give it the first few kicks? It doesn't have its air filter on. Doesn't matter. Stand up. You want me to do it? Yeah. We have to get it out though. Are we in neutral? We are in neutral. That's a good result. What happened there? Do we still have fuel in the line? We do. Got fuel in the filter. I believe we've got too much throttle. Cover this. that out. So it's, got, it's got way too much fuel. My hand is soaked in fuel. So it does need the air filter? So I need to look at those adjustment screws and see which one is which because our idle is way too high and I think this cable still needs adjusted. So it's sucking air right through here so I was choking it with my hand. But you see that there's so much fuel that's running through there that it was just soaking my hand. But it runs! Fist bump! Okay, guys, what we've got here, we can put the old car back together, see if I can get my angles right. And what we're looking for is about that much daylight underneath that throttle. Um, I don't know what to call it. It's not a blade, but... Um, so we've got to get that cable adjusted down so there's just a little less airflow through there at idle. So let's try that first. So if I'm I think we've got a hole in the tire. So look. Ooh boy. Yeah. That's a bummer. Mm, to be continued. Nope, not to be continued. Uh, we gotta get this fixed and running. Your sister's gonna be home in a couple hours and we gotta be done with this when she gets home. We can't. We can't fix a broken tire. I know, you're tired and you're wanting to be done. Just imagine your sister does this every week with me. Yeah, but you guys use a couple days. To do one we use a couple of days because we're doing bigger work than replacing a carburetor. This is, this is not, just a this, few this hours. This is not just replacing the carburetor. We have to fix the tire. We have to replace the carburetor. Hey, don't don't knock all this apart. Steering. Let's see. The GoPro's no. off, right? No, the GoPro is recording. Mm. All right, Gracie, give it a kick. See if it starts. Keys on. Where is it? It doesn't have a key? Yep, keys on. It doesn't go down. Okay. One more. Good one. Hard. One more. 
Okay, let me let me see it. Let me see if I can get it to idle. Hand me that little screwdriver. Hey, that little screwdriver right there. Okay, it occurred to me that we might want to get this tuned with the air filter on it. No, nope, we don't put the air filter on yet because we're going to have to tune this a little bit since that does present a little bit of a restriction and it was only running when I had my hand cupped over it. So we're going to try that now and see if we can't dial this in. Tracy, I think we got it. Are you excited? Yes. She's ready to be done. I think I might am too. Why don't you go get some shoes on and we'll get it out in the yard and ride it, okay? Okay. I'm a mechanic! I'm a mechanic too! All right, Gracie, would you do it again? No.